What is up YouTube? I was going to make a short video to show you some of the different statues and uh, what they do and what they can do for you. Uh, let's see here. Start on this side here with uh, the Minotaur. Gives you 15% uh, building HP and a surrounding distance of 5. Uh, all trophies give a distance of 5. Um, but I want to show you what they can do if you have them actually combined. Um, I got five of them here that add 15% uh, hit points to your, the buildings. The sand storehouse has all five of them touching, and this building here has all five of them touching. Um, with those five plus the uh, artifact storages that I have, like this one, and let's uh, see, I, I have a 10% all to all building HP, that one plus a 17 I have a 17 percent also right here if you add all those up I don't think I have any more uh, for building storage with all those added up it adds that health actually goes from 2800 to 7610 and the way you got to add those up is you have to add the percentages up individually go take 2800 times it by the 15 percent that'd be 1.15 and then hit equals and do the same thing over and over again 15 15 15 let's get the correct HP if you add them up and then times it um, it won't be correct. Here's the tree of flame. Show you what it does. And this is our last uh, fair we were in. Um. One is 15% attack defenses of uh, chaos, and the other one is warriors of order. Uh, the fountain here, it used to touch all of them. I don't know why it's not getting that last one in there, but it used to. You can obviously tell that line is going straight through the uh, the mine. Um, this one here was on the last rarity fair also. Gives you 15% more gold production. Alright, uh, let's see here. This one here, the goddess statue, gives you 15% attack of defensive buildings. So if you add this one plus this one plus this one onto that, that's giving this one 30% more attack power alone and that's not including the um, extra stuff that I have in here let's see if I can find one for an example let's see there 10 percent attack of defensive buildings so you got another 10 percent so it's kinda like having 15 percent plus 15 percent plus the 10 percent and uh, haven't done the math or have a calculator with me at the, at, at the moment um, but it'd be simple to, to figure that out uh, I did figure out the math on this here the, um, the windmill it says it makes 25,000 bread an hour all these are in hours just, just to let you know it makes 25,000 an hour so if you want to figure out how much it makes in a day, just times that 25,000 by 24. But with all the extra stuff that I have and the fountain, including the fountain, on top of that, it actually doubles its production. It makes about 50,000 an hour. All right. Um, let's see if I have any others I didn't didn't show you yet. I think that's about it. Uh, some of the other ones are just just trophies. Like they don't they don't do anything. If 
that one there and uh, that one there. Uh, here are some of the uh, artifacts. I'll slow it down so people can uh, see them all. See what ones I have. The ones uh, I didn't get every single one of them, but I do have about all of them since I started playing. Some of them are pretty good, and some of them are like, eh, not really that big of a deal. Uh, the best ones probably to have are the health for your units. Like this one here. This one's kind of nice. 10% hit points for Warriors of the Wilderness. That's uh, all the people in your sand, which is pretty nice. At one point, uh, I don't know why they did it, but they started they started making 17% on everything, and I guess they figured it was too high, and they dropped it back down, and they quit making the 17%. They started going back to the 10%. All right. Well, that's about all of that. Um... I'll show you a few of the battles of uh, what the HP does on these. Considering they're so high, they're actually hard to destroy. and makes it to where people can't get through. Uh, let's see here. This guy just attacked me. I don't know how he attacked me. That was six hours ago. That was last night. Let's replay that one. Five oh, percent. Sorry for the background noise. That was uh, fairly decent considering all my highest defenses were on the other side and all my trophies were on the other side. Uh, the reason why I did that is because uh, it would make it really hard to grab the sand, which is almost the most important thing to have at this level. Uh, I'm not really worried about taking a, a defeat, but most of the time people attack from the left side instead of the right side. Now, uh, I'll show you an example of that. Uh, go back down here. Let's see. Some really high people attack me and still end up losing. Like uh, this one here, level 71, Angels of Death. 16 elephants. And I think that's about all, all he had to get. taking a considerably long time to uh, destroy those storages even though the elephants do 500 damage per, per bullet. 
you can see how long it's actually taking them to uh, do any damage. Yeah. about all he can do go ahead and end the battle I don't know why he deployed that elephant it's just getting his ass kicked but all right scroll down through here I don't delete any of these and I haven't revenged anybody um, so they're all on there uh, if you notice um, the victory day of how long it's been ago how close they are together um, I did have um, about 3 million sand and people were very very desperate getting in some people did which I mean I, I ain't worried about it I'm not worried about that my son likes playing with his gun is what that noise was let's see here find one like this guy I don't know how he attacked me like five times in a row but um, he just used lightning bolts and still got 5,000 sand almost every time um, let's see here see this guy here used 15 elephants 8 ENTs only got 18 uh, percent replay this one real quick and all these people normally do all the exact same type of attack and they all lose they know they're not going to reach the sand from the other side because it's such a far distance so they try attacking from this side because it's so close but they don't realize the health is so high that it's going to take them a while to get through There are three mages shooting at it at one time, plus an elephant. You can tell how slow it's actually going down. The, um, the hit points, or the damage that the um, Tower of Fire could put out, I think it's... Uh, between 650 to 720 damage per bullet. I mean, it's fairly high. That's why it takes them elephants out pretty quick. You can tell that their HP just drops like substantially. All right. I think that was about all for that one. I'll show you one that someone actually did get through, and uh, I think they used birds, if I'm not mistaken. And the birds just so happened to get through just a little bit. It's been actually a little while ago. <laughs> See, that guy stole 184,000 sand. This is back when I had, like, a lot of sand. There you go. This guy actually done done really well getting through see look at this 503k 792k or 792 sorry I was going to say I mean, that was a lot there is someone in here that got like 600,000 at one time but oh, hmm. don't see it on here 503k just so happened to push through just enough uh, you know to get it And uh, you notice my sand storehouse, how close it is. Um, I moved it back because of this reason here and put another statue in front of it. So you can tell like my statues are actually in different positions. I 
if the sand storehouse was further back, um, and you could tell that my uh, my defenses weren't as adequate as they are now. I changed some things, and that kept that from happening. Give you an idea of what it what it looks like if you kind of take a look at it now. And now take out take a look at it. You can tell that birds wouldn't be able to to get into it now. All right, uh, that should be it. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And we're always looking for people that like to play. Uh, I have two accounts, one small account, <clears throat> and it has a total of uh, 22,000 gems on that account. Um, I plan on using them during the Bashan and some of the other rarity fairs to uh, to help with this account. But we're always looking for people that, uh, that play and play well and play with all rarity fairs and Bashans. So if, uh, if you want to join, uh, it's Two Brothers. There we go. I'll pull it up for you. Two Brothers, uh, lowercase b. There is another one that has a uppercase b. But um, this account and this one um, is my accounts there. I'm the account holder. But uh, as you can tell, we get people who doesn't play. Uh, it's been three weeks, so they missed the last rarity fair. And that one had missed the last two. But uh, if you uh, if you play, just uh, comment or you know or send a like if you like the video. All right. Thanks for watching.